Hello everyone and welcome to Theme Park Coast and this is today we are down here at Monk's Walk to look at the brand new construction for Fort Park Resort. So that includes stuff like Logger's Leap, Rumble Rapids and all these rides that we want to know what is happening and today we'll be heading down here and talking to you about all the construction that's going on at Fort Park. And if you stay with us right to the end of the vlog, we've got some very, very exciting construction updates to talk about, including the Fort Farm, which used to be over here at the park. So stay with us to the end, and you'll find all of that out in this amazing vlog, Down Monk's Walk 2019. Here we go for our first bit of construction on here. Here we enter the Rumble Rapids boats. It has been here every single year now since 2015, this boat. And look, now, look at them. Apparently, they're going to start putting doors on them after all the person fell off over at Drayton Manor, after all that sort of stuff. And it's really awesome to see these boats. And this ride is not shut for good. It's opening again in spring 2019. But I think they are repairing the doors and everything on them. Because you can see, uh, uh, if you look at one of them here, they're a bit run down, these boats. And like, they do need a bit more paint. They've got like holes in the thing. And obviously, as it is a water ride and it is quite rough, I think one rough in general isn't the greatest ride, in my opinion, because there's not enough water. So, if they're really doing it for spring 2019, that will look really good. And here's an example of the new doors which are coming over here, and that does just cooling over. And here we go, these are hopefully the doors that are coming on here to the ride. So, like, look at that, pretty good. And you can see it's done the paint job on it as well. So, this it might take a while to do all these boats, but with enough work, they can really make this ride really good. And what construction have we got, Daddy? That's the ride. Right. And their ride itself. Run Rapids ride. Just done a the photo booth there. The entrance there. And you see the boats. That's the first boat with nothing on. This is the boat with all the doors on. And finally, here is a boat without a rather ding thing on. And here is that one there. So, we still have a lot of things to do on these boats. But I think overall, make it more safe means they could probably add more water effects on it and make it a more better one. And there you go, the back of it. If you have never been in front of it before, you'll have never seen the back of it. And you see, if you look through here, if you look through here, you can see all the maintenance down there, like all of those steam effects, I think, and the doors open. And I'm going to put my camera again. It's, it's nice for me to see the back because I've never actually yeah. been on the back before. Really nice so for me to see it. Yes, if you've never been on it before, I want to be on the lady any of the mazes. You oh, couldn't yeah, really, yeah, obviously, yeah, experience all the this stuff down here, and all the lights are turned on as well. So it, it would be nice yeah. heading that here at night time to see all the lights as it lights up in the back. But the back of it, you may not have noticed before if you haven't been on it, but look at the back of it. It looks so cool from the front. The back of it is just like a massive warehouse. And it's the exact same for over at Disney World, Exodus and Everest, and many more rides like that. They kind of get the whole thing done, even though you may not be seeing it as much. It was actually an exit through that exit part there, where you go through that. If you watch some of our vlogs, we've exited through there. You kind of don't need to down here, so don't worry so much about it down here, but just wait if it's up there. Kind of get it really sorted out and it can look really, really awesome. And now we're entering our Fright Night maze. So I can quickly show around Deck Free Quid, posting one of my favourite mazes. And it's really cool how you can see all stuff down here. Like, it's really, really immersive. Like, just having to put all those tables and everything where they sit and then. A bit of ice cream to death of in that corner there, and then someone just jumped out of me. Really, really cool one. I love all the scenery they do around it. Now, I have a keeper there as well, so you can see that actually they're not taking it down, which means they may be keeping it up for next year. Oh, here's a bit, here's a bit. I was with the funny story that is actually because I was, I was with Hugo and uh, I was going on a little turn, I was like, I did it before, so I was like, I was at the front, walking back, I was like, like quite cocky and everything, and his first had jumped behind me, because obviously I thought I was used to it, but it changes every time, so they jump out at you, and they're like, oh god, I screamed, I actually screamed to death, I think, because I'm not great for mazes, but that really, really made me quite scared. And Jane? Um, I remember this, though, when the, uh, the lady with the chainsaw tried shoving the chainsaw at the bar. Oh yeah, if you've seen, seen that Fort Park Fire Vlog with Jane, the link will be in the description <laughs> below. Jane actually had a bit where the lady went along with the chains like, mm, she actually got it off his butt. So definitely our final vlog like, for 2018. Like, ah, no. And yeah, how cool is that? I remember all of that off by heart. And, uh, and especially for Adam, as he hasn't done the mazes before. Yeah, it's nice to me see that. Yeah, pretty cool. She's never done them before. But you can't get a feel of what it feels like yeah, walking through there. Yeah, we had a washing machine down there. I thought, what is that for? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. 
And here is the maze, the one and the only Platform 15, one of the only mazes where well, I have almost been scared to life in. Like that is just the one where you went through the tunnel at the end. I think I've seen the van. That is really cool. Um, we should come here on fright night. Maybe you might see like nearly when it's fright night. You might see them, you never know, you might see them at No, the axe so is a bit down there. That's probably why they it. cover this. Just in case you yeah. see any of that. Yeah, we should definitely have done it far. And here is a construction yeah. that I think we've all made it for. The Loggers Leap. And all the rooms are Loggers Leap coming back in 2019. We're just going to have a really so big guys. study of Loggers Leap because, oh, personally, one of my favourite rides that used to be at Fox Park, Princess Diana ride, rode the ride. The and it, it was so, so, oh, yeah, so an important ride to Fox Park. I mean, I went and once. you went once. Uh, but it was my yeah, first time. And we're just going to quickly look at it, just no. have a bit of time looking at it and time. seeing what we can see if there's any yeah. actually done thing yeah, done to yeah, it. For the the, the even the stuff like clearing the dark gutters, yeah. every little thing that they've done to yeah, it, we're going to try find out for you guys because yeah. we need to find out as much as we can yeah. of this ride so we can tell you all about it. I've only walked five steps and I've already found some stuff to do with it. The lights on the chain lift is turned on. Yeah, yeah, yeah the lights. Oh, yeah. The lights are turned on on the chain lift. Does that mean the thing's jerks on it and these like music boxes as well look quite new? I don't remember them last time I checked here. So, and you can see as well, but it looks like we are doing a bit of construction onto the ride itself. So, if they're in construction, it means they're going to make it back. And it's, this ride takes up a lot of space actually. And I just showed more Falcon 15 here. As of a lot of space, we have, they obviously, if they get down, it could be a really awesome ride. But, really. Here we go, this is a bit, which is my one of my favorite parts and my dad's favorite part of it. The Fork train going to Fork Farm, just down there in the corner. There is the train which leads to Fork Farm, which actually Fork Farm will be talked about it at the end. <laughs> and you're going to find my dad the camera so you can film upwards and over. Ready? So, so was that the longest expected that made it Was that the end bit we had to run through there at the end? Mm. And yeah, I have actually seen that, but it does feel pretty sad actually looking at it. Because it, yeah, it just, because, yeah, all the way just from there, and it's kind of, it was such an important train to Fort Park. I used to love, the, for, uh, no, I didn't go to the Fort Park farm, but I used to love old Canada and all the sort of stuff I had there. And when they took it down, it's like, but first, of all, even then all the, uh, yeah, acted on it as well. Yeah, but, so there you go. They're doing fright night. They pull yeah. zombies. Yeah, and there's only like one view one as well. But it does really feel like we need to add some more stuff over to Fort Park. I know it's going to be a teenage park, but get some more scenery. Get like the old Canada back because that's the big one. Bring a farm back. That's like a separate area, and also try farm at the end of this. <laughs> and unfortunately, we're actually nearly heading to the end of the path. And we're going to backfire and head over towards a special ending which we need to tell all of you about over here on the yeah. channel. And it's a very exciting stuff for all of us actually. Should we film the exit if we didn't film And we will film the exit as well when we exit. And then I'll tell you how to get here as well if you do want to know how to get here. And where to park. And where to park. So parking is the very awesome hard. awesome parking. I can't yeah. wait to surprise. And look, there's the tunnel I think we have to enter down. Oh sorry, might show you. Yeah, should we just go over the bridge? Show you. Say we've done all of actually, no, it's not the tunnel. That's actually the old train station for the train which used to go around the park but we're just going to get as much twist as we can now off that one 15 and I'm going to show a couple of clips of the park now and yeah we'll see you in a sec when we start a side to news I've only walked five steps and I've already found some stuff to do with it the lights on the chain lift is turned on yeah, yeah, yeah the lights yeah. the lights are turned on on the chain lift does that mean the thing was jerking on it and these like music boxes as well look quite new I don't remember them last time I checked here so and you can see as well, but it looks like we are doing a bit of construction onto the ride itself. So if they're in construction, it means they're going to make it back. And it's, this ride takes up a lot of space actually. And I just showed more Falcon 15 here. As of a lot of space, we have, they obviously, if they get down, it could be a really awesome ride. But really, here we go. This is a bit, which is my, one of my favorite parts and my dad's favorite part of it. The Fork train going to Fork Farm, just down there in the corner. There is the train which leads to Fort Farm, which actually Fort Farm will be talked about it at the end. <laughs> and you're going to find my dad the camera so you can film upwards and over. Ready? So, so was that the longest expected that made it? Was that the end bit we had to run through there at the end? 
And yeah, I've actually seen that, but it does feel pretty sad actually like, looking at it. Some people on it. Because it, yeah, it just, because, oh, yeah, yeah, all the way just from there, and it's kind of, it was such an important train to Fort Park. I used to love, the, for, uh, yeah. not, I didn't go to the Fort Park farm, but I used to love old Canada and all the sort of stuff I had there. And when they took it down, it's like, the first, of the leaf, and then all the, uh, yeah, acted on it as well. Yeah, that, so there you go. They're doing Fright Night. They put all the zombies. Yeah, and there's only like one real one as well. But it does really feel like we need to add some more stuff over to Fort Park. I know it's going to be a teenage park, but get some more scenery. Get like the old Canada back because that's the big one. Bring a farm back. That's another like separate area, and also a farm at the end of this. And unfortunately, we're actually nearly heading to the end of the path. And we're going to back far and head over towards our special ending, which we need to tell all of you about over here on the yeah. channel. And it's a very exciting stuff for all of us, actually. Should we film the exit? We didn't film and we will film the exit as well. And, we exit, and then I'll tell you how to get here as well, if you do want to know how to get here. And where to park. And where to park, because the parking is You're very awesome hard. You're awesome parking. I can't yeah. wait to the surprise. And look, there's the tunnel I think we have to enter down. Oh, sorry, my show you. Yeah, should we just go over the bridge? Show you. Say we've done all of it. Actually, I thought the tunnel was actually the old train station for the train which used to go around the park but we're just going to get as much twist as we can now off that one fifteen and take a couple of clips of the park now and yeah we'll see you in a sec when we start side to news but then if you can't walking down near behind here murder inside we realise it, it's a thought park farm. So you can see there's so much still there. And that is the entrance obviously for emergency vehicles. But, oh my god, there's like the boats and everything else. There's the boat which I used to, I think they used to do a rowing on. Then if you look right down here, there's a frog up there. And it, it's actually just an abandoned farm. But like, there's so much, you see swarm just right in the distance down there. It's right down there, there you go, swarm. So, I wish you could. Really, I wish they could let you in sometimes. Have a little tour around. But yeah, it's just like it's so much here just to see. Like especially that boat and everything. I never was that last time. And the docking station is just down there. There, there's the docking station. Where you can get off the boat and everything. And then the farms around here. And my godfather used to work in the farm, so obviously he wouldn't know exactly what it looks like and what everything is. But I've never experienced it, so I'm. Wish I could experience it, and I wish I could open it again. So for park watching this, come on again for park open it it really really helped even if you haven't done as much as they did before every little thing will help and i'm literally just going to come over to say goodbye from all of us on theme park coast and zam james walking around the corner now so goodbye from all of us on theme park coast. it's been an amazing 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 trip on here and nice. there's so many facts i hope you enjoyed it there will be one every year probably two and we'll see you shortly and goodbye from me my host and a happy Bye. new year and if you haven't already Make sure to check out our amazing end of year 18, 2018 vlog, and there's three of you will be shouted out. So if you haven't noticed yet, it could be you. So anyway, welcome all of us on Theme Park Coast, and I'll see you shortly. Yeah. This is Theme Park Coast Construction.